Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. This time we'll be talking about HDIV, Hamilton Enhanced Multi-Sector Covered Call ETF. This is another ETF from Hamilton uh, and they seem to really like covered call ETFs and they are actually quite popular. Uh, this strategy, this type of funds is becoming more and more popular with investors who are uh, seeking passive income, high dividend yield uh, with less volatility. So it's, it's a very interesting ETF. Uh, if you're not familiar with Covered Call ETF, you can check my previous video or visit my blog. Uh, I, I'm, I'm discussing there more in detail what Covered Call ETF, but in essence, a Covered Call ETF, it's a, a conservative strategy that is a derivative. It's a, co a conservative strategy where you use derivatives, which is your writing call options to basically achieve two things. Uh, enhance the distribution because when you hold dividend stocks, you get dividends. But with a covered call ETF, besides you getting the dividends, you also get premiums. How they get the premiums is they write call options, they sell call options, and they collect premiums. These premiums come in addition to, your, to the dividends, and so you have a higher distribution yield with covered call ETF. Uh, the second objective, it's a conservative strategy so you are um, looking to reduce volatility. So by doing, you, you're achieving this with this derivative, you are reducing volatility. Uh, and I will discuss later, uh, so what's the impact of, of this strategy, advantage and disadvantage. But this is basically the objectives that are sought by covered call ETF. High dividend yields, less volatility. It's ideal for investors who are seeking high dividend income and low volatility. In, and HDIV is unique in the fact that it has a very diversified portfolio. It's investing in seven different ETFs that are all of them uh, covered call, but each is specific is, is investing in a specific sector. So it's uh, by owning one ETF, you're owning uh, really an investment in seven uh, different sectors. And it's covered call and uh, you benefit from the diversification and the fact that you're owning a covered call ETF. The manager uses leverage, a cash leverage of 25% to enhance yield and growth potential. And the index tract is called selective multi-sector covered call ETF. Uh, the uh, constituents of this ETF, so as I said, the HDIV will invest in seven different ETFs. You see here all the sectors are in gold, um, energy, utilities, healthcare, life insurance, um, uh, Canadian banks, and growth uh, technology. So you have uh, when you when you're buying this ETF, you're basically buying a portion of each one of these. Uh, so it's uh, all of them invest in blue chips. This is what I like about these ETFs that all of them have only big names. Like if I check here, for example, for um, for the uh, HTA Harvest Tech Achievers Growth and Income, you have NVIDIA Corporation, Advanced Micro Devices, Qualcomm, Apple. So it's only like big names. If we look at what they have under um, the CI First Asset Energy Giants ETF, that would be Petrolio, Brasilio, uh, Canadian Natural Resources, Sancor. So this is great because with covered call strategy, it works best with blue chip stocks uh, with a stable portfolio. You don't want like small stocks or small cap and uh, covered call strategy. It just doesn't work. It's better to have a fund that invests in blue chip. And in general, if you are look, seeking income, seeking dividends, you better stick with uh, large cap, uh, solid businesses. So how profitable are covered call ETFs? So when you buy a covered call ETF, keep in mind, you have, you're going to get a great dividend yield. In market volatility, when the market volatility is high, the yield is higher. Why? Because market volatility will make your options that you sell uh, the... Um, uh, when you sell, when you write the call option, the strike price and all that, the differences is going to be high because there is high volatility. So your premium is higher. The higher the market volatility, the higher the premium. This is why these covered call ETF have been doing really well uh, lately. 
in terms of attracting new money because they have a high dividend yield and the market actually right now is highly volatile. So it's kind of helping them get more uh, premium. So when the volatility, volatility becomes more like, in, like uh, lower, then the dividend yield will, will be uh, lower for this type of ETFs. In a bear market, uh, like we're living right now, the covered call ETF will perform better than the index, than the tracked index. Uh, so this is quite important to understand. So this is how this is why they are also popular. Is that when the stock market falls, you're falling less than the stock market. So your performance is better than the index that you are tracking. But the opposite happens in a bull market. When the stocks are getting higher, your covered call ETF will not benefit from this. It will. It will go up, but really with a small percentage. Let's say if the stock market goes up 10%, the ETF a covered call will only gain 2 or 3%. But in the bear market, if the stock falls, let's say 10%, the covered call ETF will only fall for like 5 or 4 or 3%. So this is because this is the, the strategy that they put in place causes this. So you are protected in bear markets limited protection here you're still it's, it's still gonna lose value it's just it's not gonna lose value as much as the index and in the bull market you're not taking advantage you're live you're um you're giving up on the potential upside of stocks because when you write call option you're technically giving up on the upside potential you say, you tell investors listen the stocks is trading right now at 50 if you give me uh, if, if I'm willing to sell it at 55, if someone is willing to buy this option, so it's it's like a safe bet. But if the stock market, if this stock goes up more than 55, you're not gonna uh, take advantage of that because you already sold an option to sell it at a 55. So, so this is why uh, in a bear market it's good, in a bull market not that great. So covered call ETF will generate higher yields, good dividend. But usually the performance was, will be low uh, compared to investing in the index directly. So can you lose money on a covered call ETF? So as I mentioned, a covered call ETF ha is tracking something. So if that something falls a lot and keeps falling, yeah, the covered call ETF will have a, a better performance than that index, but still a low performance. Uh, so you have to keep in mind that if the performance is really bad, it could impact your total return. Yes, you're getting dividends uh, or and high distribution, but if the performance of the stock is, if the performance of the ETF is is really a bad performance, it's gonna wipe out wipe out all the profits that you made through the dividends. This is why covered call ETF are. Uh, you could say that they are medium risk and they are more for long-term investors. So it's someone who really doesn't watch the stock market going up or down. They just care about the dividend yield, the distribution, and they're willing to hold this ETF for a long term so they can benefit from the growth potential because there is growth potential because as we saw like in the bull market, it still goes up. So there is a, um, a growth potential and there is a high yield that is relatively safe because of the uh, portfolio is, is is made up of only uh, blue chip stocks. So it's it's still a great product, uh, but just keep in mind that it's not a, like it's it's not it's not a bond. It's it's still, it still can fall in value. So I hope this uh, covers uh, a little bit this ETF. Uh, there is obviously more information if uh, if you're looking to. Uh, visit just Hamilton websites and you will get more information. Uh, the MER, I think it's at 0 0.6. Uh, the management fee is around 0 0.65. And as I said, this fund has been around for less than a year, but is uh, the target dividend yield that the manager has set for uh, is around 8%. And uh, as of May 31st, they were at 8.7%. You can check their website for more detail or Yahoo Finance. You can also visit my blog if you would want, like to know more about covered call ETF. And I have their examples of how to write a call option and how it works basically. Thank you and have a great evening.